Howdy folks, it's about 8.35 p.m. on January 23, 2020. Um, we, Linda and I hung the door. Uh, this is to the garage last night. Uh, I just got done putting the uh, handle on. There'll be a deadbolt that goes up here. Um, but this is that door, it's gotta be well over 200 pounds. Uh, this is an inch and seven ace. This is an inch and three ace. Uh, I have to use these heavy duty strips to hold the panels in on the top and the bottom. Tomorrow, like I say, I'll put in the uh, um, deadbolt. The issues that this created for me today are um, when we hung it last night, you can see there's still a little bit more gap between the door and the frame, uh, but there's a pleasant amount, except down at the bottom, I've got to do something there because the door is pretty close to that. Over here, okay, uh, it could be better, but it's just the way it's gonna have to be. The issues that it presented is the top hinge last night, um, the mortise on the jam was a little bit too high. And so um, what we ended up with was problem in that the hinge didn't seat properly into the jam. And I took it apart today. We had the four hinges on and I could see that that was our problem. And I took it off of the door uh, on the door jam, I left it on the door. I uh, made the uh, the mortise just a little bit bigger and uh, it really brought it in. I had to straighten this. The jam side was real good. I had to straighten this out quite a bit because when I had done it, what I did is I put three quarter inch blocks in this space here and uh so the door was actually sort of or the jam was actually bowing um i gotta still put door stops on but i want to show you one of the things that i did uh, to get this thing straight is there's going to be a strip that goes along here and so where that strip is going to be what i did is i put some screws in and i was able to tighten it up uh, or loosen it up accordingly. So I think I did a pretty good job. And now when you put these in, you see uh, you uh, mortise out where this will go and um, so that the hardware is actually in the wood. Same thing over here. Um, and then this is the door. Now when I put a stop on the, it'll keep it from uh, going beyond where it should. Uh, so that's the door that uh, Linda and I put on last night. Um, on uh, Monday, because today is Wednesday, on Monday, I built this door frame out of poplar. And if you remember, we got a poplar order. Uh, it'll be about a week, 10 days ago. And so this is, I just um, planed it down on one side. It's almost an inch. It's a little, it's right about at seven eighths of an inch. And this one, I had very little problems with the door jam. Um, actually putting uh, mortising for the hinges on both the jam and the door. Um, it's actually the first time I've done that. Uh, as it is hanging the door, it's the first time Linda and I did it. Uh, otherwise, I've always been John's helper. Uh, now, when we hung that door, John and I, I really paid attention and... Uh, I gotta say that we probably hung each of these doors in, 
I'm going to say a half an hour. Uh, we really, really did a good job. Um, in this door, I put the uh, handle on tonight. Again, I got to put door stop. Put the handle on. Now, this door is not varnished. Um, I'm going to wait. Uh, normally, I'll varnish them before we put them up, but uh, um, I needed this door up for uh, this weekend. So uh, but this door is probably a real masterpiece as far as uh, hanging. Now, one thing that I did, instead of having the big, bigger, chunkier um, pieces that hold in the field, what I did is I chose to go with a more intricate uh, door stop and this really this stop replicates what we did on the windows on our front door so all of our outside doors have the heavier duty uh, because we're either holding big pieces of glass in or we're holding panels in uh, and we really want the support and I don't have that much room on the uh, wood uh, frame. So I need that in order to get as much surface as I can. Here, it's a different story. This is a three quarter inch panel. Um, this is an inch and three quarter inch door. And so I have about a half of an inch um, of real wood surface. And you can see here, uh, right there, I have an eighth of an inch um, overlap that comes over the uh, door frame itself. So uh, I'm real pleased with these. Um, and uh, I think that uh, it'll be a nice look as we go along. Um, so temporarily, we'll put the door stops, a, a smaller door stop in just to keep the hinges from, um, in case somebody pushes the door, we don't, we want it to stop at a certain point. So, uh, that's it. We've got our countertop filled up with, uh, a lot of this is stuff that Linda likes to have on the counters, you know, her utensils and the like, uh, her big mix master knives flour and sugar and brown sugar. Um, so uh, anyways, that's the way it looks now. Uh, here's our Packer lamp. Linda's real pleased with that. Uh, her brother gave that to her several years ago. So uh, that's it. The house is sort of a mess, but I want to just give you a little bit of an idea. You see, she's really starting to hang some stuff. This is the mud room, which was like a warehouse. And of course the cord will be gone because I was using that today on this. But uh, look at how nice this looks in here. Uh, you know, she's gonna hang something on this, this wall, but uh, this will eventually be a cabinet. Uh, but geez, you know, she's really done a nice job. Um, you know, uh, Linda likes clocks. We've still got about six more coming from the clock shop that are uh, being repaired or whatever. Uh, there's a nice picture there that we got when we were in Door County uh, several years ago, and then I made the frame. Uh, but, you know, she's got um, this clock here we bought 43 years ago. Uh, we've had uh, guts replaced once or twice. Uh, of course, there's our uh, French doors. Over here, she's got a picture of her mom and dad at the beach. Uh, she's got a little beach theme going. That's a picture. That's a picture that we've had for since O Dark Hundred. So uh, she's really really making it look nice. So thanks for following the progress.